Good morning, Ellarigum Namaskara, Namaste. My name is Teja Gudluru and I'm here to talk about a topic that's been intriguing me for the last couple of years. Of course, it's an incredible opportunity for me to be here in this venerable platform amongst all you amazing people. We've been going through quite a few transformations over the years. The wave of transformation is not leaving any of us alone. And the topic that I'm talking about today talks about how there's been a wave of transformation in learning, the way we view education, and what it holds for us in the future. Amidst all of this wave of transformation, the heart lies at something called AI, artificial intelligence. Today, I'm talking about artificial intelligence and the wave of transformation, not just something that's creating something new, but perhaps in its own silent, unassuming way, taking us back to our ancient Indian roots. I remember uh, when back in the day when I was being introduced to Bhagavad Gita, I was told that there is answer to everything in that book. I was shocked, I was surprised, intrigued at that point of time. Today when I look around and when I look at how AI uh, is, is transforming education, uh, I also see that it's also taking us back to ancient intelligence. AI versus AI. Artificial intelligence versus ancient intelligence. Uh, there is a phrase in Bhagavad Gita, uh, chapter 4, uh, 34 verse. It says, Tatvitti pranipatena pariprasnena sevaya upadekshintite jnanam jnani nastastva darsinah. What does that mean? If you want to learn something new, if you want to progress in life, the first thing you need to do is have clarity about what you want to learn. And once you have that clarity, reach out to a mentor, reach out to a guru, bow down to them, submit yourself, ask them questions, curious, respectful questions, and wisdom will find its way into you. This, perhaps, is what AI is doing for us today. But before we talk about that, let's rewind ourselves back into our ancient education system, the Gurukuls. Right. There was a guru, everybody would go there, under the guidance of the guru, become wiser. But the focus back in the day was not rote memorization or judging somebody's intelligence by the amount of knowledge they can memorize and puke it back in a question paper. The focus in gurukuls was around holistic development. Of course there was academic knowledge, but it was also about connect to the environment, connect to oneself. We made people seekers of self-development. The only person in Gurukul who, who was in competition was with themselves. The ability to gauge somebody's wisdom happened by the amount of betterment they brought in themselves. And that was the essence of Gurukuls. Fast forward today, We've made so much, so much development, technological advancements in our life today. But somehow when we talk about education, there's still a gap. People still feel that our education, our curricula, hasn't kept up with the pace of what's happening around us in the world. So I looked at the ancient uh, education system and tried to draw parallels to how uh, AI is bringing all of that back to us, taking us back to the Gurukul system. Look at, look at the critical pillars of the ancient education system. At the center of all of this was the Guru. The Guru would look at each and every student, individualize his approach towards each of them, understand their strengths, and then therefore give them practical experience, holistic living in a real life environment back in Gurukuls. Today, Adaptive AI is doing just the same. 
This is no longer about one size fits all approach. I have more than 70 plus clients where I do leadership development across the world. And the first thing these people are focusing on is individual development based on their learning styles and their strengths. And that is where AI is taking us back to what education and learning should have been all along. Knowledge and wisdom. Please go back. Knowledge and wisdom. Back in the day, the focus was not just about by hearting Vedas or getting those marks in education. The focus was to become seekers. We come from the land of seekers where all we had to worry about is figuring out what the question is. Today, with generative AI, it's not as much about solution. It's about how well you can ask the question and the solution will be available to you. So that's how AI is taking us back to being seekers. It's not about solutioning. Today in Agile, we call it fail fast. And that's exactly what the Gurukul systems did. They made you fail enough so you become a better version of yourself. And that's exactly what AI is bringing us today, to ask the right questions, not really worry about the results. I go to startup events in California, the Silicon Valley or the Singapore, People wear their failures on their sleeves. Unfortunately, we don't see that too much here. We are judged by our failures. They are celebrated by their failures. And AI today is helping you fail fast, even before you attempt something practically. And that's the beauty of what artificial intelligence brings to us. There was a concept of swat, swa adhyaya, which is self-learning. Today, you go to any corporate, you go to any good educational institution, the role of a guru is obviously there to guide, but a lot of emphasis is played on your self-learning. And that's exactly what AI does today. You find the right tool, you can pretty much learn anything. Absolutely customized to who you are, what kind of a learning style you have. And that's exactly what they did. I remember Nalanda, reading about the Nalanda University, where they crowdsourced over 9 million books handwritten by various scholars all across the globe. AI does that for us today. We are no longer just dependent on that library in your college or what you can buy as books. Go online, find the right place. In a sense, there's an old saying it, uh, that comes again from our ancient uh, uh, history. When the learner is ready, the guru will arrive. AI makes that possible today. Today, there is nothing you cannot learn. If you truly know what you want to learn, there is enough mentors, gurus online, enough knowledge online that can come to you. And that's where I think artificial intelligence is taking us back to our roots. And the last one is Abhivyapya, which is to be inclusive. Today, the world is not a place where you can divide. Today, the world is a place where it doesn't matter what your background is, what your race is, what, your, what the color of your skin is. What matters is, do you want to progress? Do you have the undying will to become a better version of yourself? AI is there for your rescue. So I looked at all of this and I said, is there a way we can apply this in our lives as students, as entrepreneurs, as career professionals? And it seems to me, that we need to understand the DNA of what we want to do. If you can go to the next slide. Uh, define, navigate, act. Whether you're a student, whether you're a startup enthusiast or entrepreneur, whether you're a career professional, if you know what you want, and that is where it is critical that you do some self-reflection. The moment you know what you want to learn or where you want to be, all you need to do is use adaptive tools that we have today, like generative AI, adaptive AI. There are so many apps that can identify your strengths, suggest learning paths for you. And once you know the direction, find a mentor, and that's easy too. And by the way, AI makes that possible too. There are so many apps today where it can even look into your styles, your needs, and suggest the right mentors for you. Seek out, talk to them. And once you have all the knowledge, that's when you go and act. And when you're able to do this, when you're able to understand that today 
artificial intelligence and ancient intelligence can come together as holistic. So if you look at how in corporates today, I get called in to talk to their leaders. What are the topics they're asking me to deliver there? Empathy, building trust with teams, being more inclusive. All these are deep rooted in our culture anyway. The moment you tap into our own cultures, you already are becoming a better person because that's exactly what was the focus when we were back in the day, to become better versions of ourselves, not compete and become better than somebody else. To be focused and connected with the environment, to be focused and connected to my own culture, that is what most of the corporates today talk about, holistic learning. So just getting marks isn't enough. It's also important that you network, you connect with people, you learn from others, and guess what? AI makes all of that possible. So if you really want to grow exponentially in your career, tap into AI and AI, artificial intelligence and ancient intelligence. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Sarvejana Sukhinabhavanta. Thank you.